hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing um i'm in a great mood today i am feeling so happy and i've got all of you to thank for that um after my recent video just sort of telling you that i had been on manjara for a few weeks i've had so much love and kindness and support honestly i'm like completely overwhelmed by it i am so pleased that i did put that video up and that I'm now going to be sort of like recording my journey here with you all. Um, so many of you feel the same as I feel. Um, lots of you are thinking about um, starting on a, a GLP-1 or know somebody that you think may benefit from it. So it's just like so nice to hear that we're able to like open a discussion about it. So um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm like, honestly, today I feel... Whew, like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. It's been sat there. I'd filmed it a week in advance and then I was waiting and waiting and I'd, I'd said to myself that it had to be uploaded by Sunday evening. Um, I just, it's just so important that we talk about it, isn't it? But anyway, hello. <laughs> if you're new and you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about who I am, um, my name is Marcia. I'm 53 and it is now four weeks that I have been on my GLP-1 journey. I am... Um, started with Munjaro on the 21st of May. So I thought I'd come on today and do a four week update. So like my first four weeks kind of summary really. And then moving forward from here, I'll just start doing weekly updates and weigh-ins and everything. And then, um, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be so exciting. And I think there's so much content I can create with this for you and sort of share my experiences, the things I'm finding out about it, um, just all sorts of stuff like that. Any questions that you've got, if lots of you've had questions already, so I'm gonna address those in another video. But yeah, just sort of trying to talk about it, get it out there. And yeah, we don't need to, hide away or feel like we're doing something wrong it's just it's an incredible new medication i am so thrilled with the results so far so yeah today we're going to do the four week recap um of course i don't even know what i'm thinking about i'm like my brain's buzzing so yeah 21st of may was my very first injection but i've been thinking about it quite a bit prior to that leading up to it I was away in Scotland when I placed my order. I placed it the night before I was due to travel home. So I would be at home to receive the parcel because it is like a refrigerated item. It comes down through the cold chain. Um, and this was my first box. It's now finished. So you get one pen in here, which lasts four doses. I will show you in another video how that works, how to use it. Um, I was absolutely not terrified, that's the wrong word. I was so nervous to inject myself. And bear in mind that um, up until last May when I retired, I'd, I'd been a nurse. I have injected thousands of people in my time. <laughs> and yet it's very different to inject it on yourself. But um, honestly, it was so easy, pain-free. I actually filmed myself just before I did it and then just after it, because I was originally going to start a vlog, well, sort of keeping like a video diary. And then I just I just didn't do it um but i think i've still got that footage so if i have i'm gonna pop it in here somewhere in this video because i just need to go back and look at it because i think i was a nervous wreck it's it's a real thing isn't it injecting a drug into yourself but um i'm so pleased i did i'm so pleased i started this journey and i'm really really pleased that i'm sharing it with all of you so if you have got any questions along the way honestly drop any of them just down in the comment section down below if you don't feel comfortable asking like openly because i know i've had a few private messages about people that are either on it or thinking about going on it but don't want other people to know um i completely understand so if you have got some questions honestly just message me over on instagram and i will get back to you i promise i am doing my best to answer every single question on here but there are some um like common questions that keep coming up so yeah i will address those common questions in another video so yeah today was my four week weigh-in and it has oh honestly it's, it's incredible i just can't it's a complete game changer i feel like this is just gonna really just turn everything around and get me back to how I was and I'm just feeling so happy. What I'm going to do in this video today, I'll let you know um, each date that I weighed in. So I weigh in every day, every week on a Tuesday. I'll let you know what my starting weight was um, in like stones and pounds. Also 
just pounds in case there are any american viewers i hope there are is anyone from america say hi um and i'll also share my bmi and then with each weekly weigh-in i'll let you sort of know the new figures for that and where i'm at and then it'll bring you up to today um my injection days um so my first injection was a tuesday i've now changed that to a sunday i'll explain why as we go through like the week by week and what my process was and why i did that um so yeah oh i don't know where to start i have actually filmed this once and it ended up being a 50 minute video because i'd gone through each day and told you all the symptoms for each day which is actually nobody needs all that now um it'd be easy as i say going week by week from now on um so yeah i'll be back next tuesday with my next weekly weigh-in and um sort of summary from the week and then also, though, I think on the 21st of each month, I'm going to do like a monthly recap. But in those videos, rather than just talking about like side effects and things, I don't want to do that. I'd rather we can do um, have a look at photos. So we've got like a visual change. We can look at the photos. I've got a Renfo um, scales and apps so we can look at how like body fat and things like that are changing. And we can do some measurements as well. So I feel like non-scale victories. Also, quite a way back ago, I'd filmed... Um, I've taken a couple of photos of some things that didn't fit me. Um, so we can sort of start trying those on as well. Or I might find new items of clothing that are a bit snug or won't even fasten. And then hopefully over the weeks, I'll be able to get into those. I'm already feeling like, I don't know if you can tell, like with this blouse, like everything is just starting to like unnoticeably be big on me. And that's like in four weeks. It is crazy. All right. So, um, yeah, I ordered my, um, it's, it's an online pharmacy, how I've got it from. I will chat about this, as I say, in another video. But you have to go through a lot of questions. You have to meet a lot of criteria. Um, you do need to be obese. So, you, you know, your BMI does need to be more than 30. And they, they look at everything and they'll sort of work out whether you are eligible for it, whether there's any concerns or anything, any safety concerns. Um, I've said, yes, they can notify my GP. You know, absolutely and um there were several different doses so there was a 2.5 milligram a 5 milligram 7.5 a 10 a 12.5 and a 15 so everybody starts off on the 2.5 which is what this is here this is a little quick pen so yeah this has got your four doses in and um everyone starts on that and it's just a very low dose just to get your body used to the drug if you go in too high too fast you more than likely going to experience an awful lot of like really unpleasant side effects and yeah we're just not about that life so yeah every single person that starts starts on the lowest dose um it's an injection once a week um do that for four weeks if you're sort of absolutely fine not having any awful side effects uh and then you can like, or if you're not having like, if you're still feeling really hungry and, and stuff like that, then you're going to move up to the next dose. And you just keep moving up every four weeks until you reach like a dose that you think is working perfectly for you, where that you're not getting hungry, you're losing weight. Um, you know, all of these things are all sort of tying in there. So you're not having any awful side effects. You can stay on one of the doses for more than like the four weeks so if you want to stay on for eight weeks 12 weeks you can just like you need to discuss it with your prescriber and um yeah it's just very sort of ta you know is tailored to you how your symptoms are your side effects and things so yeah i started on the 2.5 milligram it arrived on the tuesday morning or so tuesday lunch when i got back from scotland and in my head originally i thought i was either going to give it to myself on the friday or the or the sunday after that because my grandson was going to come in on the Friday and I thought, oh, what happens if I'm poorly with it? And what happens, you know, if I have all these horrible side effects, I don't want to be poorly when I'm looking after him. And so, yeah, and I joined a few Facebook groups as well, like so like little private groups as like a bit of a support community, really, just because it can feel a little bit isolating first. And you are, I think you can be quite worried that people are going to judge you. So on there, it's great, apart from most people that, are going to be posting are people that are having all these horrible <laughs> symptoms and so you're like oh gosh is this is what's going to happen to me anyway i decided long story short just to go for it it had arrived at the lunchtime put it in my fridge and i thought oh what's the point of waiting nearly another week 
when I could actually just get it injected now. It's going to start working. We're going to see how I am. Um, plus, I um, at the end of June, I've got a, a, a wedding to go to. So I'm away for three nights, like the night before, the night of the wedding and the night after. It's one of my really close friends from school. Um, so she she's having a lovely big wedding. All of us girls are going and um, partners as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I was a bit I thought, let's just get it done. I thought, oh, I might be able to lose a bit of weight before the wedding as well. I'll be feeling happier in myself. So I went ahead and gave myself the injection on Tuesday, the 21st of May. If I have got any footage, I'll pop it in here now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if I haven't got any, then it doesn't really matter. We'll just carry on talking. But oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Anyway, it didn't hurt. I did it in my tummy and... um. And that was that. So I was sat there. I just remember the first evening um, after I'd had it done, I sat watching TV and I thought, oh, do I feel OK? And I think I was waiting for this like, big rush of side effects. And I was like, oh, do I, do I feel hungry? Oh, I don't know. It was really weird. I was really overthinking it. And apparently, I think this is quite a common thing. Anyway, that was fine. I had, um, my husband brought me through like a little glass of wine that night. And I was just like, oh. I actually don't think I want it. And that was like the first little indication about, oh, is this maybe working? So generally, my first week was fairly uneventful. Um, rather than going through day by day, like which I did in take one of this video, I'm going to just kind of summarise really. So it kind of woke on. Throughout the first week, I would say I had a couple of mild headaches, normally on waking, and they would usually only last maybe half an hour or an hour. One day I took some paracetamol, um other times it was drinking and i do think i was probably a little bit dehydrated um for three the first three nights i was up about every half hour weeing like mad <laughs> and but they do recommend that you drink a lot of fluids whilst on like a glp1 medication so um yeah i certainly needed to work on that in the first week so yeah i had a, a bit of like a headache hunger i think for the first sort of couple of days I felt normal but I did notice I was getting fuller a bit quicker and then from like the Thursday onwards my hunger was reducing down which was really really good on the Friday when we picked up my grandson and we went over to um like the Friday marches which was up around Saddleworth on on the Yorkshire Moors um it's a great day out and I literally want, had nothing to eat all day through the day I just wasn't hungry and we're at a pub and um my husband and grandson had some crisps and things as well like do you want some crisps i was like no I, I don't i just literally was not hungry and um, i did have a couple of lager and limes i was a bit worried about it because i've read a lot of things again online and you know but i was absolutely fine no um detrimental effect at all so that was really really good um that day when we came back actually we stopped at mcdonald's because it took us nearly two hours to get home because there's loads of road closures because of the the marches well you know for the band contest and so it took absolutely ages to get back and obviously with a four-year-old grandson so we went to mcdonald's for our tea which was still about half past seven at night and i had nothing to eat all day wasn't overly hungry and i just got um i got a chicken legends three strips meal a medium meal i ate because i thought well it's, it's chicken at the end of the day it's chicken breast so i ate the chicken and couldn't eat the chips and then had a little bit of the drink so my husband finished off my chips for me and i was absolutely stuffed all night i was just so full and um, so i'm looking down here because i've got like a little diary with all the symptoms <laughs> i've been writing them down and taking notes so i knew i'd want to talk about it in a video um really apart from that I, I felt quite bloated at times um we in a lot for the first few nights and um another thing i've had and i've had this actually throughout is that i'll have every few days i'll feel really really cold to the point where like i'll have like my fleece on when i'm watching telly and i'm still frozen and again that seems to be quite a common side effect and um, sort of chatting to other people who are on this medication as well so yeah nothing particularly weird or awful i didn't have any nausea i didn't have any vomiting i didn't have any diarrhea anything like that at all and um, some people talk about sulfur burps which is meant to be like eggy burps none of that thank god because they sound horrible and <laughs> um, so yeah all in all pretty good um 
just looking here there's nothing really more particularly to comment there about that first week apart from the day before so like on the monday so like day seven um again i had a little bit of a headache um and i woke up and i was starving i was so hungry but i had something to eat and literally it's the weirdest thing it's just you, you feel rav sometimes you can feel ravenous and then you'll start to eat and then you get full like really quick and um, you might have only eaten like a third of your food and you're absolutely stuffed and you feel like you've had like a huge um christmas dinner and you can't eat anything else so not only are you trying to like eat it but your brain saying no i'm full and you feel really full as well so it's so clever it is so so clever um so yeah that was the first week pretty uneventful no constipation diarrhea as i say nausea vomiting anything like that just a couple of headaches i felt a bit cold a bit of bloating nothing and definitely noticed that my portions were getting smaller um I was just going to say something to them. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, apart from, like, making sure that you drink plenty of water, it's also really, really important that you eat lots of protein. Um, I've still got my Weight Watchers app, and I've switched it. They've got a GLP-1 program on it, which is amazing. So I've switched it, and it changes your whole dashboard. If you want a video on that, I will probably do it anyway. Um, let me know. But it has made tracking absolutely fantastic. I blooming love it. So I'm tracking on there, but I'm also tracking on my fitness pal because um i've noticed it's very easy to have very low calories especially when you're trying to like eat well not have too like too many processed foods and things like that so i'm just keeping an eye on my calories and if i think they're a bit too low i'm trying to think of smart ways to get a few extra calories in <laughs> like what a problem to have is just like crackers so yeah that was the end of week one fairly uneventful so choose oh so you need to know my weight i was just going to crack on with the next week so yeah so my starting weight um so on the 21st of may i got weighed and i weighed in at 13 stone 12.8 pounds so it's literally 1.2 pounds away from the 14 stone and that's what's really pushed me and, and triggered me into um wanting to do something else and um, i did chat about some of all this in my other video as well so i'm not going to go over all of that again about backstories and what i've done in the past but yeah i really did not want to reach 14 stone like a new stone bracket it was just like no nah. so i was 13 stone 12.8 which is 194.8 pounds um, and my bmi was 32.4 so i was like smack bang in the middle of the obese category obviously once you reach 35 um you then go into morbidly obese and that's when it really can start knocking years off your life you know so it's that it can have real sort of bad effects on your whole body um in so many ways so yeah we're not about that we're just about trying to be proactive and bring it down so week one in the bag a few little changes nothing dreadful and i jumped on the scales on the 28th of may and i weighed 13 stone 7.4 which means i'd lost 5.4 pounds in my first week which was like i was so happy like what a great loss i was really really delighted um i know a lot of it was probably like water weight and things but even so it's just really it's a real boost just to see the scales come down so i was 189.4 pounds and that took my bmi down to 31.5 from 32.4 so i'd nearly knocked like a point off my bmi so really happy still in the obese category but definitely making a good move forward so um i decided yet yeah, at lunchtime it was half one on the tuesday i thought right let's get this injection in i'd been a bit hungry the day before i thought rather than wait until later in the day let's just get it done so um i did it in another part of my tummy from the week before now after injecting that day i actually did have a headache for most of the day but i do think i was probably dehydrated again see i don't go anywhere now without my water you get such a dry mouth well i do um i do get like really thirsty and so i, I know that I need to concentrate a bit more as well on my hydration so yeah i had a headache but i had drank virtually one of these um in the afternoon and then it virtually went away i'd had some paracetamol which i haven't really touched it so i do think i was probably dehydrated um the night before though my injection i'd had a um a really bad sleep so i was probably a bit tired and dehydrated um i was really hungry on that first day of like um day one of week two 
really really hungry but um i ate a good sized dinner that evening but then for the rest of the evening i was just like i felt so full um the next couple of days i just felt like a tiny bit hungry um not starving but just i was aware that I was a bit hungry and it is actually it's okay to feel hungry on this you're meant to feel hungry um you need to still respond to those cues but what will change is how much food it takes to satisfy that hunger so it, hunger is fine it's some people i think um looking at the groups think that they shouldn't feel hungry at all you definitely still need to feel hungry you need to recognize those cues that's your body telling you you need some fuel so hunger is fine but i don't want to be starving and ravenous if i'm starving and ravenous it ain't working and if i'm craving things it ain't working oh talking of craving things as well what i did notice um virtually straight away in week one was um you know how like i'm a bit of a nighttime muncher i do love like my little snacky plates and um treats and things on an evening um literally nothing i didn't even think about snacks um i didn't want anything i just couldn't even think about eating after my evening meal i was like oh, that was me i was done and i just have my drinks and um i've been having some chocolate protein shakes on an evening about nine o'clock half past nine um so number one it's a good way of getting a few extra calories in also a good way i can get an extra like 20 grams of protein in which is really good and i just have it in a glass with a load of ice i've got a glass straw and yeah i literally get the chocolate ones from aldi um and they are delicious and they're only 79p and they're just they're so yummy they've got lots of different flavors and things as well but i really like the chocolate one and I think the brand is Cowbell, but it's from Aldi and the 79p ones and they're in the fridge and um, they last quite a few weeks in the fridge. So um, yeah, I recommend if, you, if you're doing this or you're wanting a way to just sort of get some protein shakes that aren't going to cost you the earth, then they're quite a good one. So yeah, I have them in the night and it feels really indulgent. I can't always, um, I don't have them every night. Sometimes I just can't face it but I have them most nights. Um, and I saw, I read a bit of research actually, really interesting. I was at a research or an article or something. And it was saying that, because I thought, oh, is it all right having protein shakes this late at night? So I started looking into it. And there's a lot of um, people think that actually, yes, it's really good because obviously muscles will repair and things whilst you're sleeping. So your body's got that extra protein there to work on. Um, plus you're more likely to wake in the morning feeling um, satisfied and less hungry because you've had all that protein overnight. Now, mine's probably still sat in my belly because <laughs> um, with all GLP-1s, it slows down gastric emptying. So who knows? But I have it at night and it's a nice little like chocolatey treat, but that's not bad for me. So yeah, I um, would just sort of let you know that bit. Um, yeah, so moving on. The main thing for the first few days of week two was that I was, I had a slight bit of hunger, nothing massive and i was thirsty but i had no other side effects in the first half of that week no headaches no nausea nothing at all um and then on the friday a bit weird i had like a bit of like low down tummy pain it felt a bit like a like period type pain and again a few other girls in these groups have also meant i've been asking questions about whether other people's periods been affected so i don't know if that's an issue or not obviously i'm a bit old and i can't really um respond to that one but i certainly had like a gripey period type discomfort which only lasted a little while um and then it was gone and then over the weekend i had absolutely unbelievable um suppression of my hunger like nothing no hunger pangs didn't feel hungry at all like zilch and um, but i did have a couple of headaches over that weekend so um as i mentioned i was going to go i'm going to my friend's wedding at the end of june so it's like a, now as it is it's um it's gonna i go away like the middle of next week um but sort of back then at the beginning of the month i was thinking like right i don't want to be doing my injection on the, the tuesday when i'm then traveling up to scotland on the thursday because it all going well if the 2.5 had been suitable for me then i'd be moving up to the next strength dose and i thought what happens if i then have some horrible side effects and then i'm at the wedding and i just feel miserable and everything else so um i sort of looked into it and it's absolutely all right for me to um bring to like move my injection day and that's fine you've got to have 
at least um, I think it's like three or four days between your injections but that doesn't mean you can inject every three or four days but if you're wanting to change your injection day you have got the ability to do that and just move it forward so I thought rather than moving it from the Tuesday to the Sunday I thought I'd just do it in stages whilst I was on the low dose so I thought what I could do for week three I just move it forward to the Monday instead of the Tuesday and then on week four I'd move it from the Monday to the Sunday so then I'm at my Sunday and it just gives me a little bit of leeway plus what I thought would be a really good thing then as well having it on a Sunday would mean um by the time you get to kind of Friday Saturday like Friday Saturday um the levels in your body sort of drop off quite a bit it's got a fact the half-life on it is five days which means well it's a bit scientific I won't go into all that but basically then it should be any of the horrible side effects usually should be tailing off if you do get them, which means like my Friday and Saturday night, if I wanted to go out for a drink or a meal with Glenn, I'm more likely to be able to go and be able to enjoy that and still have like that bit of like normality. We still need to be able to socialise and not feel like I can't eat, I can't drink, I can't do this, I can't do that. So yeah, so that's why um you'll hear me now that my injection date has moved. Um, If you're not sure, it's best that you just discuss it with your um, prescriber, with the pharmacy and or your, your doctor, wherever you get it from and have a chat with them and they'll be able to guide you with that. So yeah, um, I've kept my way days, by the way, still as Tuesdays. So on Monday the 3rd of June, I had my third injection of the 2.5 milligrams. So still on that starter dose, that loading dose. Um, I gave it early in the morning. Again, I had a bit of a headache when I woke up that day. and um, But otherwise, nothing particularly. So yeah, that was um, the end of week two. And so then I've got weighed again. It's like becoming my favourite part of the week is getting weighed. <laughs> um, so yeah, 28th of May, Tuesday the 28th, jumped on the scales, literally. <laughs> and I, I weighed 13 stone, 7.5. No, I've never. That was, that was week one. Hang on. I've done that one. I? Yeah, so week one, I was 13 stone, 7.4. Week two, which was the 4th of June. <coughs> so excuse me, ever so much. I'm losing track of where I'm at. Have I done? Yeah, I have done week two. Gosh, I'm, I'm talking that much. I don't even know where I am. I am literally going to Lally. So yeah, um, so the end of week two, um weighing results were that on the 4th of june i weighed in at 13 stone 4.8 which means that was another 2.6 pounds off so i was eight pounds off in two weeks really really happy with that 186.8 pounds and my bmi had come down to 31.1 so that's it's come from 32.4 down to 31.1 still obese but it's really all just going in the right direction. So that's really, really good. Um, now, week three for me personally was probably my toughest week, actually. Um, and so I'd had my injection on the Monday. So from Tuesday, Wednesday. So they're all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday and part of the Thursday. I literally felt like I'd eaten like three Christmas dinners I was so uncomfortable I literally thought I couldn't even eat anything I thought I can't eat because if I eat something there's just literally no room um and on the Tuesday night I was all evening I was very very uncomfortable I literally just couldn't get settled and I was still awake like through to like 3 a.m I had a really poor sleep that day and it was just terrible um on the wednesday it continued on and all day long i still felt like i was bloated i was full and i literally i didn't have any breakfast lunch i didn't want anything to eat so i just made myself a cup of soup so i'd had something um and then i had the tiniest evening meal literally hardly anything i was just i ate a bit and i thought i just can't eat it um and again really bloated overnight in bed couldn't sleep and then I realised actually I hadn't been to the toilet for a couple of days. So whether I was like a little bit constipated as well, because obviously the drug will be working, um, gastric emptying, slowing down, your, your bowel, everything just moves slower. You know, it all just goes slower. Plus you're not eating the volumes of food that you were eating before as well. Um, so <laughs> it can be a challenge. However, I'd rather be a little bit bunged up than have like awful diarrhea, which some people have had. Um, I just, for them, I just, 
I feel really bad for them. So yeah, Thursday I felt a little less full when I woke up. So I had a bit of breakfast. Not my thing. It was just like some like skier and berries. And then I literally felt like I'd had a Christmas dinner again, just back up to the top. Um and then rest of the week, um, <laughs> next couple of days, I think the poo fairy visited and then <laughs> I started to feel a lot better. I went out on the Friday night with Glenn, just he wanted to come out and I thought, you can't not live your life as well. So I we went out, um, I thought, I normally drink cocktails when I go out, but there was like no way I was wanting all that sugar. Um, I was just really worried that it'd have like a bit of an adverse effect and especially because I felt so bloated and, and bunged up and things. So I had, um, I was drinking vodka and Diet Kirk, and I think my first drink, I nursed it for about an hour. I just literally couldn't drink it. <laughs> I thought, oh, wow, I'm a cheap day. But we had a really nice night. I had a few drinks, actually, and then it just, like, things kind of settled down. And I don't know whether I was a little bit anxious as well and worried, you know, in case I was poorly whilst I was out. And then I ended the night with one cocktail, which I really enjoyed. And we had a lovely night. We were home before midnight, but it was really lovely. And... I thought, oh, let's see how I wake up the next day. Am I going to be hungover? I'm going to feel awful. Will I be sick? Will I be this? No, I was absolutely fine. I had no headache. I felt great. Um, ironically, um, we went for a Costa later. And after my Costa, I felt really, really nauseous. So whether it was all the milk um, or what, I don't know. But I just like, I can't bear the thought of having a Costa again. So that's out the window. And I really enjoyed my Costas, but... I'm just not doing that. I'm also not really enjoying my cups of tea anymore. Um, well, no, that's a lie. I, I do a lot of the times I do, but quite a few of the times, and um, it just tastes really odd. You'll find that your tastes change quite a lot, mostly for drinks. I've noticed, and whether that's just because I don't know. Even now, I've got like a bit of a weird taste in my mouth. Um. Yeah, so all okay for the rest of that week. And then it was Sunday the 9th. Um, obviously, I've had my third injection on Monday the 3rd. So, yes, yeah, Sunday that week, at the end of the week, I gave myself my fourth injection. And I thought, that's me now. I'm sorted on my new injection day. And I'm going to, I plan to keep Sundays from now on as my injection day. So, it'll always be seven days in between jabs. So, I think at the early days, you never know how you're going to respond. So, if you work and then you've had, say, if you take your injections on a Sunday night, but then for Monday and Tuesday, you feel dreadful and you're back at work, well, Sundays are for you maybe a Friday night it's going to be better so that you're at home over the weekend and you can sort of you know so I think you really need to work out how it's going to be you never know how you're going to react so I think just be kind to yourself if it's not working if you're feeling dreadful and you notice a pattern then yeah just speak to your provider and then they'll be able to guide you about what to do how to shift your dose but it's um as long as you're not daft and you're not silly and you're not giving it every few you know a few days it's fine and so for me i thought just cut a day off the week do it after six days instead of seven and then that's all i did and i just brought it back over the two weeks um so yeah i had the fourth injection again so that's my last 2.5 milligram dose and that was on sunday the 9th all day long i felt absolutely fine but um late evening just before bed i felt a little bit nauseous not a lot um, but just a little bit squiffy and then I went in bed and the evening in bed I thought oh I just feel a little bit not right but um that was fine I slept okay and in the morning again I did feel a little bit nauseous then um what I have felt actually on and off which I haven't mentioned I've been I've, did I mention it I've been cold and um, about maybe three times a week three, uh, three four times a week I'll feel absolutely frozen I'll be sat there watching telly I'll put my fleece on but like, is it cold Glenn and he's like no it's not it's you I'm like I'm frozen I mean but let's be honest like the weather's been terrible I have been contemplating putting the heating on and it's June <laughs> I haven't put the heating on but I have thought about it it's not been nice here at all um there's like jokes isn't there going around at the moment that in Britain that June's been the warmest January on record <laughs> it's just been terrible so yeah I felt a bit um a bit cold food's tasted a bit weird a bit, bit tired actually um going into this week but um obviously Tuesday the 11th was way day so this was my third end of week three weigh-in so 11th of June I got on the scales and considering I've been feeling so full and everything, you know, I just 
considering I've been so so uncomfortable you kind of feel in your head that you've overeaten and obviously you haven't but um I weighed in at 13 stone 2.4 pounds which means I'd lost another 2.4 pounds so that was a total of 10.4 pounds in three weeks so 184.4 pounds and my BMI had come down to 30.4 seven so getting closer and closer obviously once you get into like under 30 you're no longer obese you're just overweight and overweight sounds really good to me right now i'd be happy to be overweight um so yeah that was 10.4 pounds off in three weeks i was like wow i'm like this is amazing and i think it's at this point that I, I knew that i thought I am loving this. I'm going to stick with this. And it's then that I, um, I film a video because I just wanted to come on because I thought this is brilliant and I need to talk about it. Um, and I'm so pleased I did. <laughs> so pleased. So yeah, going into week four, I was hungry in week four. I'm not going to lie. And it's, it's one of these things that you have to, um, you have to order your next prescription and, and get your drugs in ready for when you sort of going on to your fifth dose and the, the question always is isn't it is do you stay on the dose that you're on currently or do you move up a dose and really i know i've sort of listed like side effects and things but they've been very mild you know i've not apart from those like two days of being really full that was that wasn't very nice but um but I was still able to function. I was still able to do things. Um, but I haven't been unwell at all. I felt great, actually. I felt like I've had a real boost. And I, I feel my mood feels great. I feel really upbeat. I feel so happy. And um, and I just thought, yeah, I feel ready to change up, to move up a dose. So, yeah, I've, I've sorted out my next prescription through my provider. And... Um, and it's at that point then, yeah, I filmed my my intro video from a couple of days ago. But yeah, I filmed it over a week ago now. Um, but yeah, last week, a bit of a weird week. So I had actually quite a few symptoms. And I'm, it, they're just a bit of a weird one. So I had my jab on the Sunday. And then through that week, I've had a couple of headaches again. But I've been getting a really, really metallic taste in my mouth. Like, just really not very pleasant. Um, what else have I had? Again, being cold. On Wednesday, last Wednesday, I felt really a bit sicky after my um, protein shake in the evening. So I decided just to lay off it for a couple of nights and not have it. And then I've been feeling a bit peckish, but not really fancying anything. Like, just there's nothing that I really want to eat that is appealing to me so like you can look at the food and you think mm. so it's almost like you don't get any joy out your food almost you know um i don't know i just couldn't find like fancy anything um i've had another um what was it yeah just feeling hungry between meals feeling cold um hungry you're hungry but then you eat hardly anything and you feel full so yeah i'm all is is fine absolutely fine so nothing really much other than i was very hungry people talk about um food noise and i never knew what that was until i was doing this and so um food noise is just basically when you're thinking about food and you don't realize you do it and i think i've actually done, all i've thought about for years and years is food subconsciously you're thinking oh what can i have for lunch oh what will i have for tea oh i might go to the town and buy that and we can eat that and um or you sat watching telly oh i just you know it's like, oh i just fancy some snacks so oh, i'm gonna go in and oh yeah i'm gonna have so many cheddars i'm gonna have a chocolate bar i'm gonna have this and it's just that constant thoughts of food and that is really silenced like i don't think about food at all it is so odd i was doing the shopping in tesco and literally virtually missed out like the, the snack aisles where the biscuits are the chocolate the crisps and things and i literally turned down the aisle and i just walked straight through it i had to think oh glenn might want some crisps but literally it didn't even enter my head till it is weird it is literally the weirdest thing um so yeah other than that rest of the week was not bad bit tired bit cold but nothing and hungry so I was really, really ready for Sunday and my new dose, the five milligram dose, and 
yeah i'm so pleased i had decided early to to go to increase the dose because if i'd been on 2.5 for another month i just think i might have well, i don't know i think yeah i think i might have struggled a little bit so yeah don't be scared of moving up so sunday the 16th i had my fifth injection where's the time gone and it was a five milligrams i gave it in the afternoon and um, i had a little bit of a headache after it metallic taste again now that night i was still really hungry because i'd obviously been hungry all week so i took advantage and um made a curry i thought glenn's gonna love it because we've been living off just i don't know i've not been cooking the same so we had I made a chicken curry, I had a bit of rice, and you know, I just had smaller portions, but I absolutely loved it. No adverse side effects from spicy things. Also through the week, I'd had some, um, the week before, I had had some fish and chips, but I just had about two thirds of a battered fish and a couple of chips, and I was full. Gave that to Glenn, and I was actually fine with that, but I've heard stories of people who have had vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, after things like that i mean it's literally just like a one-off really enjoyed it um i don't think it's anything i'd rush to do again but i actually did enjoy that but yeah i was obviously fine after that i was fine after my curry i felt a bit weird after my costa um so yeah i had the injection on the sunday now sunday nights so it's literally just two nights ago um from tea time onwards i just started to feel like really full again after the curry i enjoyed the curry i didn't overeat but then as the evening went on i just seemed to feel fuller and fuller and fuller as if i'd had another meal but i hadn't and then um for the first time i started burping i honestly had not like really loud burps but i was just like you know like under your, your breath almost i had i was burping an awful lot i had like bring up a lot of gas upwards not downwards um and that's the first time i've had burps maybe in the first couple of days maybe um and then i had a bit of an ache in my tummy so i'm wondering if it's just because i would had rice and whether the spicy curry was sat there and that's what that was doing not sure but um following day i didn't have any adverse effects from it it was absolutely fine um i did have trouble sleeping after my five milligram jab and i think it's just because i felt a bit uncomfortable again so yesterday i literally had that sensation again of just feeling stuffed all day um and i actually really struggled yesterday to eat i had some scrambled egg and toast at lunchtime and at the start of this in week one when i was having scrambled egg on toast I'd, um well i'd normally have like three eggs two slices of toast and i just can't do that now so now i have one slice of toast and two eggs and that will do me all day that's all i'll have and then i'll have my evening meal and then my protein shake and that's literally kind of how my day is but i had that scrambled egg yesterday lunch and then literally i just couldn't eat after it i just felt stuffed again now that scrambled egg was like about 400 calories for everything all together and I was messaging my sister because my sister knows um, that I'm on this journey and I've, she's been an absolute amazing support to me. Um, I think Glenn's just, the, Glenn's really good, but like all, you kind of obsess about it, not obsess it, but you just want to talk about it all the time going, oh, this, oh, this is happening. And yeah, I become a bit, I'm a bit of a bore at the moment. I just, I'm just talking about Munjara <laughs> because it's the only people I can talk to is my husband and my sister. Luckily, my sister's a much better listener and she engages very well with me about it. Um, So yeah, I was telling her, I was like, oh, sis, I've only had this and I know I need to eat something, but I literally cannot bear the thought of eating something. So last night I went and I bought, so I've got like some protein bars. So I thought, I don't want it, but at least it's not very big and it's going to get me another couple hundred calories in and it's going to um, give me some more protein because I was really down on my protein yesterday. I ate it and I just was like, oh, I did not enjoy it. I didn't have my protein shake last night. There's no way. Oh. I could, um, oh, I'm yawning now. It's all this talking. <laughs> I'm depleting myself of oxygen. <laughs> um, but yeah, just there's no way I can drink that. I had a bit of heartburn last night when I went to bed, which is the first heartburn I've had. So obviously I'm on a stronger dose. Um, 
and so whether maybe that is starting to kick in a little bit more I, I don't know I imagine it probably is isn't it because I'm on double the strength to what I've been on for the last four weeks um slept pretty well though to be honest but a few more a few times for some wheeze but um other than that not bad I took a couple of rennies for my heartburn I need to just research that a little bit more but I just got up at one o'clock in the morning I was like oh god I need to get some it but I'll look into that a bit more and see what the best treatment is for heartburn indigestion sort of things when you're on the GLP one so I will research that and then I'll make sure that that's the right thing to do but yeah I took it and it's settled I had a cup of tea and I went back to bed and I slept fairly well so today it means it was way day so it was for the end of week four because today's Tuesday the 18th of June and so yeah obviously last week I was 13 2.4 and then 10.4 pounds off. So I was like, oh gosh. So I've got two little things that I'm wanting to aim for as my first mini goals. One is that I want to get into the 12 stone. So to get under 13 stone. And the other one is obviously I want to lose a stone and sort of get like my first stone off. So and then also get my BMI under 30. So I've got three little mini goals that I'm aiming for right now. So I got on the scales up this morning and guys. I could not believe it because now I'm in the two stone club. <laughs> um, I weighed, <laughs> I'm only just in it, but I'm in it. And I did check three times, I think two or three times just to make sure the scales were right. And they were, um, I weighed 12 stone, 13.8. So I like 0.2 of a pound inside um, the 12. So I'm absolutely thrilled. And um, so that was 2.6 pounds off again, which takes it to 13 pounds off in four weeks. It's like, oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. And my BMI today is 30.8 three oh all of my so I've, I've hit one out of my three mini goals so those other two and they're not far away for sure so yeah that um 12 stone 13.8 is 181.8 pounds if you're in the US um so that's like my first four weeks I'm feeling fine today I'm feeling full but I had my scrambled egg again today. It's kind of like my little go-to if, if I miss my breakfast, I need like a brunch. Um, so I'm feeling okay. I'm also taking some multivitamin gummies. I'm taking them every day just to make sure I'm getting all my vitamins in that I need because obviously I'm in quite a, at, at times I'm in quite a big calorie deficit yesterday and that was the worst I've been. I was like 600 calories, which is way too low, but you know, I keep it honest and I just felt blur yesterday. But typically, I'm around about 1,100, 1,200 calories. I try. Um, I definitely aim to get it over 1,000 calories. I mean, you think before when I was doing like my calorie deficits and everything, I was like at 800 calories and I could have probably carried on eating if I was honest. So the fact that, like, yes, I was on 600, I was like, this, this drug is working. Obviously, it's, I've just had that boost of that new, um, new strength and things will start, start to settle down again as my body adjusts to the new dose. So yeah, that's my first four weeks. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm really, really delighted. Oh my God, I've been talking 48 minutes again. How am I talking so long? But at least in future, my video is going to be much, much shorter. Um, I am going to be doing monthly updates as well. So I'm going to be back on the 21st and I'll be recapping month one because it'll be exactly... A calendar month since my first injection but in those videos we're not going to be talking about my side effects and things like that what we'll be talking about are um well we're going to be looking at photos so we'll be comparing photos side by side we will also be um doing measurements and i've got some renfo scales which i've got loads of uh, statistics on and things like that so we can be looking at like my um hydration in my body like muscle mass um visceral fat subcutaneous fat all these numbers and see how they are and they've also got a metabolic age which was i was quite shocked at um so we'll be doing that on the monthly one and then after that here going forward on a tuesday it will be my weigh-in with a brief roundup of the week that has just gone by um i'm wondering whether to do like a vlog style like diary alongside with it or just maybe just do the odd day in between of like like a day in the life kind of thing and let you know what i mean and how i'm feeling but um yeah that is it let's go before i hit 
50 minutes. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you so much for your love, your support, your friendship. It means the absolute world. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're still here, <laughs> um, all my videos won't be this long, I promise. But if you do want to subscribe, please do hit the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed my video, you found it useful in any way, um, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. I'll reply to every single one of you. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to do a private message to me, just drop me one over on Instagram. But that's it for now, guys. I'm going to go and it's time to face week five and then bring it on i'm feeling amazing my clothes are getting too big i'm just like i'm feeling great so take care see you all soon Mwah! bye for now <laughs>